the BTOC macro generates the validation table of contents um, so it helps you manage the progress of your validation effort. Uh, the main action, or in this case the parameter do, is to generate the, the report. You can also manage the types of analysis you're doing with the use of the insert and delete. These are the valid types. Let me show you an example report. <clears throat> in this example report, it shows you all the programs and their status and it organizes it by analysis type. So, for example, all the F underscore programs here are considered figures and graphs. If you scroll down, all the T underscore programs are considered summary tables. Of course, you can have like L underscore for listings and A underscore for um, analysis. Those are the types of analysis that you're performing here and it's defined under the type parameter. So normally you define it by defining what the prefix is. The two-letter prefix match with your program name and then the descriptive text that follows is just the label that's used to define what type of, of uh, analysis you're performing. And you can define this using the insert and delete. So let me show you an example how you would define that. I can define this using the VTOC and I'm going to define the type as A underscore. So this is a new type and I'm going to insert it. Notice that in the beginning I also created the L underscore, T underscore, and F for the different types. So I'm going to create a new one here for uh, analysis type. I'm also going to export this information to an Excel so I can view it afterwards. I'm going to close down the Excel that I did earlier. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run that program. Um, that program is, let's go down, um, is the VTOC program. And what it will do is it will insert the new defined um, TOC type and also export to Excel. So if I go to the directory where uh, that data set gets updated, it's recommended that you don't open the data set because that might lock other users from updating it. So you can always view things um, in the Excel file which has all the equivalent values. So the one thing that we're defining are these two columns here, the type and the type label. If I were to sort this, I, I can see the new value that I created called A underscore. A underscore for analysis file. That's what my program just did, um, as you can see from the date time here. So if you were to, once you create a new program later with this a underscore prefix in your program name, it automatically knows it's an analysis file. So once you have this information, you can now generate the table of contents capturing all of the status of your program. So let me go back to my TOC program here and I'm going to um, uh, remove the, normally you'd only do this once, so what I do is I set the type and then I put it as a comment and then uh, after it's defined, you don't really need to define it again and again. So the next step is to go ahead and uh, generate the TOC. So to generate the TOC, the difference is that the do parameter is report. And then, of course, you can put uh, the output file. It's, it's regularly, um, normally it's, it's done in the output folder, which is a folder relative to the program folder and you can call it any name you want in terms of an HTML file. Um, so if I were to run this program, it takes the latest information and generates this HTML file. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and execute this program. So in this case, the output folder is at the same level as my program. If I go here, I see that that new file is just created. If you look at the timestamp, it matches. Um, and if I look at that file, it essentially shows um, me the report with, it sorts it by um, the analysis type first. So all the figures and graphs are grouped together. And if I scroll down, all the summary table types are grouped together. If you have other types, it will separate them out. And then it shows you all the various status in terms of the validation status, any comments, who ran it at what time, and so forth. So this is a good management tool 
for managing the progress of your validation and programming efforts, and the VTOC macro uh, will refresh this report.